All right, Soj 357, we are back at it in Stata, looking at the General Social Survey 2014. We are going to start by reviewing some commands, and then we will learn how to do a few new things with them. I'm starting out with tab, or tabulate, which we've done before, and I'm using a new variable you haven't seen yet. Are women not suited for politics? You can see here that 18% of respondents agree women are not suited for politics, 82% disagree. You can also see that we got only 1,589 answers to this question. If we do our table command, we no longer see these percentages. We just see the number of people who gave each answer, and we can see all the people who gave these kind of three non-response categories, like not sure or is not applicable, and it's a pretty large number that just didn't answer the question. Let's try looking at a couple other things. So now I'm using the tab command again, sex. I'm asking it to show me a breakdown by sex. Who thinks women are or are not suited for politics? I want to see percentages in a row, and I don't need to see the actual frequency. So you can see the men who answered this are slightly more likely to agree that women are not suited for politics than women, but not, not by a ton, just by two percentage points about here. We can also see if there's maybe some patterns based on their political views. So here we can see among extremely liberal people, only 8% agree that women are not suited for politics. The numbers grow a little bit as you get more toward moderate, a little bit more as you get to slightly conservative, a bit of a jump to slightly conservative, or sorry, from slightly conservative to conservative. But it's here you see this really big jump, extremely conservative people are far more likely to agree that women are not suited for politics than um, pretty much any other category of political views here. Let's learn how to do something else now. First, I'm going to show you something that doesn't work. Let's say we wanted to look at age. Maybe we're curious, you know, who are these people who think women are not suited for politics? Are they just really old? Is that it? Um, so I'm putting in pretty much the same command I have up here. I'm just substituting instead of sex or political views, I'm putting in age. I hit enter and we get this huge table. It has every age from 18 all the way down to 89 or older. And for each age, it's telling us what percentage of people agree and disagree that women are not suited for politics. It's kind of hard to find patterns in this if you're looking at just this big chunk of numbers here. Here's a command that can help make that a little bit easier. If I say table and I put in my command or my variable that we've been using, fee poll, comma, contents, parentheses, mean age. Now it's going to show me the mean age of people who agree women are not suited for politics and people who disagree that women are not suited for politics. I'm going to just copy this command here and I'm going to, sorry, I accidentally hit the button to pause recording. Okay, I'm going to add in another variable for political views. Everything else is the same table two variables, comma, contents, mean age. And now it is showing me for each political view the mean age of the person who agrees or disagrees that women are not suited for politics. This is actually kind of interesting. You'll remember how extremely conservatives were much more likely to agree that women are not suited for politics. You can also see that this group of folks who gave that answer, they're in general a lot older um, than anybody else here. Although the people who disagree are also a lot older. I kind of wonder, let's see, table, political views, 
contents, mean age. So this is interesting. You can see the mean age of each different type of political views, and they kind of start to get a little bit older as we head toward more conservative. So that's a little interesting. Um, let's say we wanted to do the same command here table, and we only want to see men. Not to beat up on men, we've already looked, we know that they're only slightly more likely to agree women are not suited for politics than women are. I just want to show you that we could add in an if condition of some kind here. So I can say if sex equals one, and remember I've got two equal signs here. We've already looked in the last video in the codebook to find out that one means male. And here we can find out, so we're only looking at the mean age of men, and it gives us that answer. Going back to something we did in the last video, we can look at sum or summarize age, the number of people who answered the question, the mean age, a little older than 49, standard deviation, minimum, maximum. Now I'm going to show you how to do something a little bit um, more detailed than that. Add in comma detail and um, now it's showing us the same information and more. We still see the number of people who answered. I'm sorry that's my cat. We still see the mean and standard deviation like before. We see the minimum and maximum like before. Now we see the variance and whatever this is and also percentiles. So the way to understand these percentiles is if we were to line up every single person who answered the question, what is your age, from youngest to oldest, and then we just look at the youngest 1%, the oldest person in that group is 19. The youngest 1% is just 18 and 19 year olds. If we look at the youngest 5%, the oldest person in that group is 23. The youngest 5% is 18 to 23 year olds, and so on. All the way up to, if we looked at the youngest 99% of people, the oldest person in that group is 88, which is probably not surprising since the oldest people here are all lumped in together as 89 or older. There's one other thing I wanna show you, and this is a totally new command. It's making a histogram. I'm using age as my variable again. I'm asking for a discrete frequency. And then it pops up this nice little picture and we can see a graphic representation of the number of people who gave each response. So we don't have a lot of 18 year olds, we have more 19 year olds. We know that the youngest is 18, you could see right here is 20, so it makes sense these are 18 and 19 years old. These are 20 year olds, all the way up to those 89 and olders. And I'm kind of assuming that maybe they asked some 90 year olds, 91 year olds, 92 year olds, and everybody's just getting lumped together as 89 and older. Maybe that's why we have this little spike here at the end. Although I don't know, I'm just guessing. So that is the last command I wanted to show you in this video, and I will meet you in the next video to learn more about Stata.